Virgo. This is going to be your reading for November 1st through the 14th. This video, this spread is also going to have an extended version of the nitty gritty that I had spoken of before. And that link is in the description box below. It's $2.99. When you click on it, it takes you to my site. And um, once you guys click on the link, it's going to ask for your email address. Make sure you put your correct email address in there because once you pay, it's going to send you a link. And then you click on it to view the video, okay? All right, guys. Let's see what's going on with Virgo for the 1st through the 14th. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign, okay? What's going on with Virgos? What's the name of Virgo? Let's see. Please show me. Looks like we are done with something. Done thinking about things that, you know, bothered us. Hurt us. What's going on with Virgo? Taking a leap of faith towards something. Stepping out on faith towards something. Holding back, holding on to things. Alright, guys. One more shuffle. We'll get right into this. Look at that. Not one, two. I'm going to gather here. I'm going to do that one more time because that was ugly. <laughs> Alright. Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Alright, guys. Under the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool card. Taking a leap of faith towards something. We have the Emperor. Hmm. It's Aries card. King of Swords. Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Queen of Cups. Hmm. That to me is like Gemini slash Cancer here. Cusper, Queen of Pentacles, Court Cards, Galore. All right. Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, showing its face. Eight of Swords, High Priestess. All right, guys. One of two things, okay? And I, and I see, like, two different stories here, okay? The Emperor is... You know, somebody that is, it could be a father, it could be a husband, it could be your grandfather, an older person, okay, um, that you were dealing with in the past, okay? Somebody that maybe you felt like was really stern, really strict, um, and now... Is it seems like you you are maybe you could say the things that you wanted to say then, but now you're standing up and being able to say the things that you need to say. I feel like here it's also Capricorn energy for me. Two of Pentacles being there, but so now you're standing up. And being able to say what it is that you need to say. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're no longer offering your love towards this person. I feel like you're trying to move away. From this person or either they're trying to move away from you because this also could be where you were like in the past you know just kind of you know feeling really alone and by yourself and just you know needing to be by yourself and standing in your power here being able to say what it is that you need to say and only offering your cup to people that you feel like deserve it. Mm. 
is what I feel. Where this person did not offer, you felt like they weren't offering their love to you. Because I feel like, you know, it's, it's like three different things going on here. Okay, so now, this is where you are standing. This is like the heart of the matter, is that you have your back turned as a queen of pentacles, still facing the past, what has gone on in the past. You are abundant within yourself, but I feel like there's something going on here that you are missing. I feel like there's something that's really that you're focused on here in the past and it's got you in a place where you're not really seeing what's in front of you like being kind of stubborn about things um this is cancer here as well And I feel like you're needing to get, you know, balanced and, and you know, see the things that, that are actually in front of you. <clears throat> Being grateful for the things that you have. Seeing things in a different light is what I feel here. Because subconsciously, you have a lot going on. Like a lot of things that you're thinking about. A lot of burdens that you're, you know, you're needing to lay down get out of your head here there's something troubling you and you're needing to see that you know you're only the thoughts that you're having are an illusion basically and you're needing to use your intuition to see the truth of the matter that things aren't the way that they seem I feel okay but we'll look into this a little further in the nitty gritty. So if you guys are interested and you want to see where this goes, then come and see me. Click the link below. Go to the website. Click that link and I will see you there.